Hey out there, YouTube and UBC and to the sword forums that I'm on. Uh, I'm out here today with a couple of new blades. Hard to believe it's the middle of December and we're 60 some degrees. Anyways, first one I have up is my UBC Custom Katana. It was designed by Morpheus Randy with a lot of help of a lot of other members and it is a super cutter. I am glad I got it. I'm going to do a little cutting with that and then I got a couple others I'll be doing today. Uh, you'll have to uh, have a little patience because I don't move real fast so in between is going to be a little slow so I apologize for that. If you know me you know why about the knees. I'm not going to go into it. Alright, enjoy. It's almost too easy. Now we'll try something, get, we'll get something a little harder. As you can see, it cuts great. I really like it. I'm super happy with it. And if you remember, of UBC, please get on and put some postings up. Help us save that website. It's a great website. If not, go join. Let's save it. I don't want to see it go under. All right, let's see what else I got out today. First up, I'm going to have to put something else up to cut. This is Cold Steel's, what they call a Nodachi, I call it, and excuse my Japanese, a Nagi Maki, which means long wrap. As you can see, the handle's real long, got a real long wrap on it. It's sort of like a little bit of a downsized Naginata. I have a Naginata and I find it's a handle similar, except with this you don't move your hand around on the shaft for moving to different positions. You kind of move, you have to let go and move. So, I'm going to do a little cut with this. I'm still new with it, so, but it is, it's kind of neat. And you see that wasn't a very good cut. It's still kind of new. I'm still learning it, so it's really different from a regular katana. There we go. It's a lot of fun. I think once I get the hang of it, it's going to be one of those that pretty much anything I put in front of it, I'll cut. That's kind of neat just to pull something out like this. I'm five foot nine. So you can get an idea about how big this thing is. All right. Last one I have. This is Zombie Tool. And another great cutter. I kind of like some of the one handed swords, 
especially I save them for later in my cutting so that I can use one have one crutch to help stabilize me because without them for a long period the knees get a little wobbly and I don't care to fall. So it is a good cutter as you can well see. That's a great point. Not afraid of the, the tougher stuff either. So that about covers it. I like all three of them. I've got some learning to do on the uh, cold steel. Uh, another thing I like to mention is I got all my stuff used. It's a great way to pick up a good sword. Watch eBay. Watch forums if you have a little bit of skill with sharpening and polishing and cleaning you can get a pretty good blade for a really good price and save yourself a good bit of money and when you're on fixed income like I am that's very important anyways I want to wish everyone out there a happy holiday whether it be Christmas or whatever you choose to uh, celebrate and I also want to wish everyone a happy new year and I hope that the uh, you get a lot of new swords, a lot of new sharp things to play with, and that next summer we see a whole bunch of new cutting videos. All right, thank you, and that's about it.